so today I just got back from Birmingham literally 10 minutes ago so today I'm going to be filming a haul from Birmingham and if you guys know me well you know I picked up a little something from my favorite store Louis Vuitton so I hope you guys are excited um, I'm really excited to film this I have not filmed a video in a very long time and I'm hoping you guys will be a little bit more understanding so, yeah we're gonna jump right into the video two backpacks equals too much Mac um I went to the Mac store and then I went to the Mac uh, counter and belt and so I kind of went crazy. First thing I got was a new perfume. This is called Air of Style. Now a lot of people, I'm not going to suggest this scent to you guys because it actually is a very weird scent. I actually found that it smells amazing. I mean some guy was, came up to me in uh, the belt in uh, in Belk, Mac in Belk, and so he was like, oh my god, what are you wearing? I was like, I'm wearing uh, y'all's new fragrance, Air of Style. I just bought it at the Mac, count or Mac store. He said, that's really weird. They Most of the time it smells like butt. I was like, what <laughs> it literally is a beautiful bottle I got the bigger size honestly it does smell so good to me it's he said it smelled good with my body chemistry which is good but if you are um I would definitely go spray this and start and walk around a little bit after I've worn it it's literally stayed on all day and I love the smell of it I can still smell it on me it's it's one of those fragrances that I love Mac fragrances they've come out with those new um the fragrances are supposed to smell like the lipsticks like creme de nude ruby woo and all that but I smell I like this one a lot and I think like it's a kind of a mixture of all the, all the five of them I really like it it definitely smells good okay we'll see what else did I get I got some products I got this eyeshadow palette I'm not a big let's be honest here Mac has kind of gone down in eyeshadow quality but I saw this and I thought what a weird range of colors and I don't really own any of these colors this one's called the red hot times nine I think this is really a random set of shades um but I love them I actually really like these these are really pretty colors for spring 2017 um a lot of them could be used for darker looks but I find I love the pinks here and the oranges and kind of the purpley vampy shade plum I think it's going to be very pretty for fall or not fall I can't believe it's spring uh for spring and I love it it's really nice so yep that was cool what else did I get I got a lip scrub I'm just trying to throw all these receipts in my suitcase, honestly. I'm at home, by the way, so yeah, that's why I'm throwing everything in my suitcase. Next is this lip scrub from Mac. This is the delectable lip scrubish scrub I can't say this. Scrubuous, scrubshuous, scrubshuous lip scrub in the shade. I got it in sweet vanilla. It smells so good, honestly. It's just oh, and it's like one of those kind of like not super. I mean, it's very like honestly, the smell is what got me on this. I have a lot of lip scrubs, and I don't really use them. This one. I love the smell of it. I do. I really do. Okay. I got some lipsticks. The first one I was wearing earlier is in, or my mom. I actually got my mom one. This is Fast Play. I got my mom this one. I have to give it to her. I already told her about it, but I didn't give it to her yet. So I'm going to throw that there. Throw all my boxes in here. I got some lip curl hooks and now actual lipsticks and stuff. Okay. So these are the rest of the matte products from the store. I got the fur lipstick in the shade Viva Glam Terror. I'm going to try to say her name. I know she's an actress. I'm not going to try to say her name. This is her. I don't know her name. I can't pronounce it. Tarje. Tarje. I can't. Somebody said it perfectly. I was like, how do you say that? I, have a, I suck at speech sometimes. I don't know. But I love this packaging. Very pretty. This is the new Viva Glam speech person for this year. Gorgeous color. It's a hot, 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 hot pink with some sparkle in it. Very beautiful. I'm obsessed with it almost. It's gorgeous. And then she also released a gloss with it, which is really pretty. This is in same shade, same person. Um, I like this down below. I know it's sold out at a lot of matte counters right now. I was surprised they even had it. This is the gloss. I've never seen a gloss like this before. This is the lip gloss, but I love the packaging of it. I'm going to sort it right close by. It's very pretty, full of sparkles. Very, very pigmented. Almost to the fact of kind of like a lip liquid lipstick. That was one swatch. I'm amazed. I also got the MAC uh, Eye Eye Mascara in the shade Sky is the Limit. This is a this color is what the mascara looks like, no joke. The guys at MAC were literally wearing this and I was like, oh my god. I'm literally gonna hopefully just wear this on not on my uppers but my lower lash line sometimes for color. Probably gonna be looked at like a weirdo, but I love that. And then I got two lipsticks. Um and the first one's in biceptual, which is kinda weird. I think it's supposed to be like bisexual, but it's biceptual. I guess it's kind of their word play on word cut thing. I don't know. Um but yeah, this one, I just kind of, oh! what? Okay, this one is really cool. It's a very nude. It's my skin color almost. I could use this as a concealer. No, but it's very pretty. It's one of those shades that's kind of sheer. Very pretty though. It's like a pink. It's very pretty. So it's very like a light pink. And the last one I got, this is the new packaging for their, um, the new line that they released. This is, um, masculinity, masculinity, kind of like masculinity, M masculinity funny they're trying to definitely 
set a tone for this. Uh, this is Musculinity. It's definitely something like, similar to it. I can't believe I picked up two of the same shades, basically, but this one's pretty, too. They also had one that I wanted, but maybe I didn't get the right shades. Those are them right there. Okay, next, I went to the MAC counter at Belk, and I got some products. Be aware this video is going to be kind of long. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to either split it into two different videos or do, um, or just, like, do a whole big video. So I got two, three things from MAC at the belt counter. I got the um, Pro, MAC Pro Longer Foundation in W15. Honestly, guys, I need a new foundation. I've tried a bunch of foundations recently, and I needed to go back to my Pro Longer, so I got that one. I also got the concealer in the shade Light. This is not the concealer. This is the highlighter concealer in the shade Light Porcelain. These are the new Illuminators, and honestly, I've never owned this shade. I've owned the Rose one and all this, but this one's going to be really nice. He used it underneath my eyes. Kind of obsessed with it. And then I also got the Studio Fix Perfecting Cushion Powder in the shade Light. That's everything I got at MAC. I gotta wipe this off my hands because I'm about to do a clothing haul. And I really don't want to get this all over the clothes I just bought. Rough. Where's the closest, like, oh my god. I'm gonna have to get up. Hold on, y'all. Okay, please don't fall. Please don't fall. I hate you, man. Touch my Sometimes I just hate my life. Not a sexy sound at all. Okay. okay, I got all that off. Yeah, I just don't like to make up on clothes. I hate it. Okay. Now, I'm going to save lush towards the end because I thought that would be also kind of an exciting part of the video. We're going to go to Loft. Loft was having 40% off and I applied for the credit card. I did not get it. For some reason, I have a bunch of credit cards that I pay off each month. But what's weird about it is I've gotten them immediately. It's all by Community Bank or Commodity Bank. But for some reason, Loft, Pier 1, these other companies are not letting me through. Like Dillard's, Belk, I have all those. I have Victoria's Secret, I have Ulta, I have... There's one more. The Target debit card, which doesn't really count. It's weird. I don't know. I have good credit. I don't know what's going on, honestly. It's kind of weird. But anyway, went to Loft, bought a little too much. So I'm going to actually insert some pictures in this video. I took a bunch of pictures with these clothes on. Some of them don't look that cute on me, but I mean, some of the pictures I didn't do very good on. Sorry, I use my phone. It's hard to take selfies with when you're wearing a clothes. <sighs> I don't even want to show you guys. I'm just going to insert a bunch of pictures for all the clothes. Um, I'm not going to sit here and talk about each one, but I loved everything. I got 40% off half this, all this stuff, and then I used an additional 15 because I applied for the credit card. So, boom, boom. We're gonna get a Lush now. I did go to Lush. They have a Lush now in Birmingham at the Summit. This is where I only shopped at the Summit today. I'm not going to the Galleria. I used to love the Galleria and I'm just kind of over it. Summit is so much bigger and nicer. And I did go to Urban Outfitters. I just realized, oh my god, I hate my life. Anyway, I got this first um, body wash in the shade Yuzu and Coco. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't even know. This is honestly one of the best million shower creams I've ever used. I love their um, Olive Branch. I, I really love all their fragrances, but this one. Very as much like a cocoa and it's supposed to be smell like chocolate and orange scent lotion, uh, lather, not lotion. I got the small, uh, 3.3 ounce. They also have a smaller one, which is about half the size. I just kind of wanted the 3.3 ounce because I never finish body washes. Let's be real here. So, yeah. Cozy Treaks Fresh Face Mask. Honestly, this is my new favorite face mask. I was looking for the cupcake one. Always sold out of it. Um, and so I was hoping to try this one. Honestly, it's my new favorite. I gotta go put this in the fridge in a minute, but I'm gonna put that over there so I don't forget. But I got a bunch of bath bombs. I'll link, I'll take pictures of them off the website and post them kind of around my face. But anyway, a bunch, bunch of bath bombs. Bars. Bubble bars. I got bath bombs and bubble bars. I did not get shampoos or anything. I don't really like their shampoos. I've tried them out in the past. I've tried facial stuff. Honestly, it breaks me out and I just don't like it. So, yeah. Last but not least. Louis Vuitton. We went there. We did that. I got a new purse um, and an accessory, and one product is being shipped to me. I got a luggage tag. I did get a luggage tag personalized. I got it, my first ever heat stamped product but for my initials. I've gotten heat stamped pre love pieces, but they're other people's initials. I hate that. So I wanted to get something heat stamped for me. First of all, love the new packaging, by the way. I originally hated it. I thought it looked too much like Hermes packaging, but honestly, I think it's kind of cute. So I love this blue right here. It's very pretty. And so, yeah, so we're just going to jump in. So I got a box. And I got another box. I don't even know why you put it in two boxes. But yeah, that's it. So basically, I got something I've been saving my money for for the past few months. So we're going to do a print. So the small box should be, 
I love this packaging. I'm not going to even bother the ribbon. I just kind of want to put, oh, I don't want to bother the ribbon. Ah! He was so nice. Honestly, this guy, I literally came in there. I was like, I had this item put on hold. Not this item, but the other item on hold. And I was like, dude, look, I have to get this put in like, I told him, I called the 800 number. I was like, can y'all put this on hold? They were like, sure, sure. Yeah, when are you going to be down? I was like, I'll be down there on Saturday. So we got it on hold. We're there. I think it's good. And then um, I get there and I literally ask him, like, can I look at it? He's like, sure. So I he pulls it out. I look at it, it's perfect, but the thing that brought me happiest was it was made in France. This is a completely different object, completely different product. I'll show you the big product in a minute that I called and had hold. I kind of was going for a, a best of luck type, best of luck type thing. I love the new dust bags, the blue right here. Very pretty. Um, but I was kind of just hoping to get this out of luck, and they have it. So it's the Rose Ballerine Six, six, six Ring Cake, Cake, Key, Clay, or Key Ring Holder. I wanted it, and so bad. Oh my god! It's made in France. I didn't even remember to look for that. All my stuff I got today was made in France. My luggage tag was made in France. This is made in France. And the last product I'll talk about was made in France. Oh my god, this is the Rose Ballerine one. I honestly asked him, I was like, sir, do you happen to have any key ring holders? He's like, I have one with pink in it. I was like, that's the one I want. So I freaked out. This is the monogram with the pink. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You guys have no idea how long I've wanted this. Um, I, my mom bought this for me. She was so kind enough to buy this for me. She didn't have to. She was like, I owe you some money for something. I'll just give it to you. So anyway, this is the, um, I don't even think they still make this kind anymore. I don't know if they still make this exact one or not. I know they used to make one, um, I know that, I don't know if they still make the Rose Ballerine, but this is the style number if you're interested. Pull up. M, it's the M61285. I'll link it down below if I can find it, but, oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That smells like brand new Louis Vuitton. It's made in France. I am so glad. I found everything made in France today. And the luggage check I'm getting shipped to me. I'm going to sure to update you guys on Instagram or something with that. Honestly, I'm so excited for this. I'm going to put my lanyard on it. I'm going to put a fuzzy keychain on it. Literally, the six rings have been what I've been wanting for years. <laughs> Take a look at a screenshot right now. Like, um, Anyway, this is beautiful. I'm so excited. So I'm not going to mess up the, bot the ribbon on this one either. Their packaging is literally to die for. I hated I love the brown, but I honestly was like, I did not like this color originally. It looks like... To me, it just wasn't that pretty, and now that I have it up close, I was kind of freaking out the whole time. I was like, I got a new packaging! So my, this is the flip top box. Flip top. Raindrop. Drop top. Flip box. <laughs> that was random. I don't even know. This is the bag. Beautiful packaging on the inside. I was so lucky to get this guy. Packaging. Beautiful, beautiful with the blue. It's hard to see, but it's blue. You guys can kind of see. The lighting so dims it out. But anyway, I've owned this piece before. I sold it right after I did the video on it and I hate my life for it. I do. Every day I regret it and so I was like saving my money up. I had bought a bunch of new bags and so I sold them all. I own one Louis Vuitton. It's this one. Now I've sold all my bags. I've really earned this money and I, I still have to sell one purse to get this. I bought it with some money and I have to pay somebody back with it but I love this. I purchased this with my own money. It's kind of a long story. But are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I know you guys know what it is. But anyway, it is the Palm Springs Mini Backpack in monogram. I'm going to Disney again for my birthday this year. I know this is kind of a spoiler. I always go there, but I don't I don't always go to Disney for my birthday. I've saved up my I'm bringing two friends with me this year. They're saving their money to go. I'm saving my money to go. My mom's just gonna be amazing to help me. So I'm so excited. But this is the bag. I'm so excited. The reason I went up with this bag over like a speedy or anything is because honestly I've owned speedies. I've owned this bag before and I regretted it every day that I sold this bag. Actually I returned this bag. Yeah, I think I returned it. I don't even know what happened to it, honestly. But I'm glad to have this back in my collection. I'm never selling it again. Um, it's unless something like financially happened to me. Oh my God, he was so sweet. This is the Palm Springs Mini. Here's the packaging. The Palm Springs Mini number is M four one five six two. This guy was honestly just I get blown. He wasn't like even that talkative. He just made me so happy. So anyway. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the straps. The straps are not attached to this bag. So if you're kind of confused, like, where's the straps? I'll explain that more. Yeah, you can see right here. It is made. Oh, you really can't see because it's so dark in there. You do have two pockets. You have one pocket in here. You have this, like, little kind of, like, phone pocket. I, you still can't see because of the lighting. But basically, there's this pocket. Yeah, there we go. There's that pocket and then the full interior. It's not a super big bag, but that's what I love about it. I can start kind of getting into my essentials. And then um, you get two straps. Two black straps of leather. Look like this. They're kind of like little, kind of like bent up right now, but that's fine. Anyway, two straps. You can either make it. I usually just take one strap to be honest, but you can make it a backpack. I'll be filming more videos very soon. I know I keep saying that, but I will. I promise. I've just been really busy with midterms and exams and just uh, school in general. It's just been kind of mad. And I have a whole video going up about my dorm before I leave. Um, I'm gonna be filming a dorm hall or dorm. 
dorm tour, dorm room tour, I can't talk. Um, but yeah, so see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.